Toy Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Thursday, the 22nd of October, 2015. And as you can see, we have made great progress on the Starfighter. Uh, we're looking on the overhead. As you can see, this is basically all done now. The deckling is on, the wash has gone on, absolutely fantastic, and everything else. And if I can spin this round, okay. Looking very, very nice. Now, this hasn't had a top coat. I'm not sure if it's going to need it. You probably catch that, uh, say, stars and bars reflecting there. That's the only downside to it. But generally, we've had no problems using this over the AK stuff. It worked an absolute treat. My only downside is it's very fragile. I mean, really fragile. And luckily, though, AK stuff is so good at overcoating, I've literally gone back and just touched in. We speak about it a lot in this build, um, and you see where I start to wear through it, and I touch it in, and all things like that. But I am super, super happy with the finish that we've got off of this. Looking very, very nice. Might still do a little bit of post shading yet, and everything else, but the actual main components uh, of the build I've actually finished now on this one and it's done everything that we wanted the AK paint to do, i.e. it's down, it's had a weathering wash over it, it stood up to it, no problem at all. It's just a little bit more fragile than perhaps you might be thinking with standard metalizers, things like that. Um, it's more like Alclad in that sense. So it is a little bit fragile when you start to rub it, handling it and things like that. So try and keep it to a minimum. But generally, we are just starting down here. We've got the resin seat, which I'm about to paint up and do. Cockpit's unmasked. Obviously, got some aerial, some lights and things like that to go on there yet. Not sure about the tip tanks. Um, thinking about putting them on. I don't know. I just think it looks better with tip tanks on than it doesn't off. So what I'm going to do is make them up anyway and have them as a loose fit and put them on and off as is required. But really, really happy with it. Pushed through, no problems at all. But deckling over the AK stuff, absolute thumbs up. No problem with that whatsoever. Weathering, obviously, I can only speak for our wash at the moment but we had obviously the flooring models weathering wash dark dirt right the way over this stood up to it no problem at all and in fact it worked better on that than i think it does on other metallizers purely because you don't get any bleed coming off of this you don't get the medical particles as you're brushing it all over and all the rest of it went on and it went on absolutely fantastic so very very happy with how this one has come out Anyway, today's Thursday. Um, myself, well, I, I have to say, hands up, not so much myself. Hans and uh, Steve on the forum have actually been really, really busy uh, trying to sort out the group builds and everything else over the last couple of weeks, coming up with ideas, adjusting things slightly so we don't get in that situation of having too much going on at once and everything else. The last couple of years, we've had loads of trouble with um, obviously people not completing and stuff like that. We've put most of that down to just the sheer number of group builds and SIGs that are going on. It is so difficult to catch up with them we all know how fast time flies uh, and we're all guilty of not finishing off projects or getting even started when we wanted to so what we've done this year or for next year 2016 is slim everything down completely now the idea of this is to make sure we can carry a little bit more um, you know into one build at one time and sig and group build and stuff like that so we've opened them up a little bit more so more things can be involved into it okay but it should focus everybody's attention a lot more okay so first up we got starting in December obviously it's my one is the Star Wars one okay so that's just going to run for the month December you know from the 1st to the 31st and then that is it if it's in the Star Wars universe obviously films books and all the rest of it um, you know comics uh, cartoons it counts all right as simple as that as long as it's got Star Wars in it you're in doesn't matter what scale what it is or anything else all scratch built and everything else okay straightforward Okay, right off the bat, as soon as we get going, is our first group build of next year, okay? And that is basically, it must be an animal, okay? This is going to run for six months from, when do we start? 1st of January until the 19th of June, so you've got 24 weeks on that one. And basically, if it's got a animal title, okay, as its official designation, so nothing like it's also known as, okay, it can actually count, okay. So we're thinking F-22 Raptors, F-18 Hornets, uh, F-14 Tomcats, things like that, you know, RAF Jaguars, all those types of things count for your aircraft. But then it goes on further, so you've got your cars, so you can have your Jaguar car, you can have your Mustang, you know, your Cobras, things like that, no problem with that at all. Obviously your tanks, so we've got Scorpions, Cheetahs, and all things like that um, we've got M rats I think it wasn't the other one we were saying about so you've got the Cougar um, there's just loads of different scope of it so as long as it's got a you know basically a animal designation as in its titling it counts okay um, obviously some things like the a10 um, Thunderbolt 
also known as the warthog. It's more commonly known as the warthog, so it would count. So also we'll open it up to things are very well known as, because I know a lot of people are gonna say, but also this one is known as. That counts as well. As long as it is mainly known by that name, then it counts into that one. Very straightforward. Big scope, obviously includes ships, you name it, it's got it, okay? So you can just put that one and go with that one. Um, starting around about that time as well, which is gonna be on the 6th of February, we've got the dawn of the new age uh, on the battlefield SIG, okay? So obviously there's no prizes for that one, but basically what this one counts is anything from concept to actual vehicles uh, participate in, in basically anything from 1915 to 1918, First World War stuff. So as you say, you've got tadpoles in there, the British Mark IV, the Renault FT-17, the tadpole, uh, you name it, the crump, absolute anything in those era in that early stages of the battlefield starts. So uh, Steve's like, um, uh, heading that one up. Okay, so obviously, you know, any questions, we'll post them up in there and we can go right the way through with that. The first aircraft one of the year is gonna be seeing double. Okay, this is gonna be a SIG and that one that is starting on the 5th of March. Anything with two seats, i.e. anything with a pilot and a navigator, a pilot and a you know radar interpretation officer, a pilot and a WIZO weapons officer, things like that count. Two seaters only, no three seaters and no four seaters or anything else. But also it goes to civilian stuff as well. So anything that's a two seater, two seater helicopters, anything else, as long as it's got two seats, it counts, okay? But it can't have over two seats and it can't be a single seater. So that is our first uh, aircraft SIG of the year, if you like. Um, so with both of those out of the way, then we'll move on to our second group build, uh, which is gonna start on the 1st of July, which is big in Japan. Anything to do with the Japanese culture counts. Okay, so anything from obviously, you know, the Second World War stuff through to, you know, obviously the Gundam stuff, you know, obviously modern stuff, Japanese defense forces, anything else, civilian airlines, Japanese cars, Japanese bikes, anything to do with Japanese, anime, you name it, it counts, all right? So if it comes out of Japan, popular in Japan, it counts, okay? Or is active in Japan, it absolutely counts. So that is gonna be our second group of the year. Uh, to go along with that one, we have, do, 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 where are we? Um, let me just get these right, uh, where are we? Uh, we've got uh, Meet My Metal SIG. Uh, that's gonna be our second air SIG. Uh, do, do, do. I'm just working out where the second uh, air SIG, air SIG, okay. Sorry, yeah. So the second air sig is actually going to be, uh, which is uh, Meet My Metal, which is 1st of December to the 24th of December, new metal finishes. Dead simple. If it's a new metal finish, i.e. nice and shiny and all the rest of it, it absolutely counts. So you can just then pull in with that one and go for your life. As long as it is, I think Hans said somewhere down here, about 85% metal is exposed. So i.e. nothing with a bit of metal. It's mainly going to have to be, uh, you know, a metal finish to actually count in that one. Okay, and then the last SIG of the year is going to be uh, the best of British heavy metal. It's but something that's been spoken about for a long, long time, this one. Okay, and basically that is, where is it? Uh, we've basically got any tracked or wheeled armored vehicle any era any conflict absolutely anything uh, as long as it is a british design so loads of scope on that one over the years um, usual thing with all the six and group builds it can be out of the box it can be full-on added on extras onto it it can be dioramas it can be in-flight pose ground pose even with vehicles and all the rest of it okay um, and then the only one to add to that one is that obviously we got the um usual extravaganza in uh, easter from the 27th of february to the 27th of march anything egg shaped it's a usual bit of fun that we do every year you can just go in with that one so technically all we've got now is obviously two six running at any one time normally in air and a ground and then we've obviously got then obviously one group build and then the same on the flip side so we have an air related sig running and a, a ground related sig running and then along with obviously a full group build so that way it's just two sigs and a group build running any one time okay instead of having those overlapping and bits and pieces and it all getting really confusing we decided to pin it right down don't forget if you don't qualify or whatever in any of those categories please just do them normally we'd love to see them in the gallery i highlight them every time you know when we have these shows and everything else on fridays and i love doing it i love seeing your work and all the bits and pieces so don't be disappointed if you're suddenly thinking but i've got nothing's going to fit in those categories because i'm sure you can fit them in the group builds but with the sigs obviously they're a little bit more in place than everything else and that 
that is how it is. No ifs, buts, and maybes, because we've been farting around with that one for so long. That is how we're gonna lay this one out, okay? Also, the other thing is, big thanks you to all the moderators that helped over the years with us. But what we're gonna do is myself and the guys are gonna really focus on this one in the team to actually oversee these. So obviously, Steve, Hans, and myself will oversee all of these, uh, and it just makes things a little bit less confusing about guys trying to, you know, from who to contact and things like that. So we will look after them ourselves and make sure now we're a lot more on top of them, gonna give them a lot more exposure on the actual, on the vlogs as well, daily almost as well. So if I see some great work going on, I'll pull your pictures out and I'll show them to the world actually on the vlogs and obviously with all the bits and pieces that go on with it. So there we go, quite exciting. Obviously we'll get this published up onto the site by the time you see this uh, and everything else. And then you can go ahead and start planning your builds and what you want to do and everything else as we make our way through the year. So there we go, that's it from me today and I'll catch you all tomorrow.